Hello everyone, this is Dipali and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about check tool. If you happen to be new to my channel, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new videos. Without further ado, let's get started. You can search for the check tool in the action search by typing check tool. This is how it looks like under the application. You can select all these applications which are registered under check tool. The check tool is used to identify all the configuration and the data issues. Let me first show you how to permission this check tool. To provide permissions for the check tool, you need to go to manage permission roles, select the role that you want to give the permissions in and in the permissions settings, just come completely down below and select check tool. Here we have three permissions. The first is access check tool, which allows users to access a check tool that can help them identify data and configuration issues. So if you have this selected, you should be able to see check tool in the action search. Allow configuration export, allow users to export system configuration data from within the check tool. You can also export the data. Here we have an option of export results so if you select the second option allow configuration export this should be enabled and allow check tool quick fix allow users to fix configuration and data issues so let's go into our check tool and here out of the multiple applications i have selected time off as an example you can select different application as well depending upon which configuration you want to verify say for example employee central core this has 55 checks listed and these are the different categories of checks so if i click on association this would mean that there are two checks which are listed under association category of the employee central core so this check tool is capable of checking most of the configuration and the data issues but this is something which we cannot rely on there could be issues which the check tool doesn't pick up but it is always a good idea to come to the check tool and check all the checks which are actually provided here and see at least you would know that at least these checks are not the issues for you so all these checks should run green like what you see here it says a green tick mark in a square which says no issues found it says executions for check custom wrapper and then there are no issues found here you also can see that you can export the results i'll just show you how the export file looks like open this so this is what it says the generic object that reference another generic object in their external code since there were no errors as such it just exported these details in order to run a check you can select any check that you want to run you can select all the checks as well by clicking on select all or select only specific checks that you want to run you have selected three here down below you can see that it says run three checks if i click on run three checks it will start running those checks and would give the results whether it ran properly or not so i'll just go to time off section these are all the time off related checks Go to configuration or under employee time so then if you see here there is a check which says there are more than 100 issues found right and on clicking on that i understand that execution for check employee time with inconsistent custom fields it says there is a custom field cust db underscore date proposed solution is please fill in mandatory fields in all the records so what you see the external code here these are the external code of all the time objects for these users and it says that this field cust underscore db date needs to be filled why because it is a mandatory field and then there are more than 100 employees who have 
time records with a blank custom field there could be one more option here to actually go to the employee time object take action make correction go to that particular custom field which was giving us the error which is this date db date and then let's mark it as not required and i'll save this object i expect that those 100 issues should be resolved so once it is saved i'll go to check tool again select the check mandatory custom fields are filled in employee time under the employee time section of the time of application and i will run just this one check it says the check is executed as part of an asynchronous job and it says that it is executed by my id and then there are no issues found so this means that the check has run successfully and the other issues that we see here is some other issue it is not because of this particular custom field which was mandatory and not filled in the different employee time sections and this was because the mandatory field was created after the employee time data was created in the system by the employees in most of the cases we try to avoid this if there are any mandatory fields that you want to create in any object created before you create any data in the system so i'll just close this if you select this employee time workflow it says there are no issues found if you want to run those six checks this is also marked actually so there are five checks under the employee time workflow and if we run these five checks it will just execute these and validate that then there are no configuration issues in these five it says employee time and status approved has a workflow assigned with a corresponding status so this is an issue the system should not be behaving like this and this is what the check tool is used for there are so many checks here it is worth spending time to understand what each of these checks does for now i think we understand how to use the check tool we can also export the results from here collapse all and expand all maybe refresh if you have just run the check tool and this about the check tool gives us a description of what this check tool does in brief let's see one more it says accrual lookup by seniority is consistent i click on four issues found it says these are different four different issues and what are the issues check result problems were found concerning seniority inconsistencies in the time spans defined in the accrual lookup by seniority data proposed solution please modify or delete the accrual lookup by seniority objects so every issue that is being raised here comes with a description as well as a proposed solution you can follow these steps to rectify the errors and run the check tool again for that particular check and just see whether your issue has been resolved or not if your issue is actually resolved you will not be seeing any of these errors and it will display no issues found as it did for the check the time of check that we just saw so thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you do remember to check my other videos and please feel free to comment in the comment section if you are looking for any specific topic in the employee central area see you soon in my next video thank you and bye for now